so thank you for watching my last video on what to bring to college now today i'll be discussing on what not to not to not to bring into college okay what you guys should not bring to college extra room decor you don't want to overcrowd your room with a lot of stuff i know you want to make it feel roomy i know you want it to feel very very you know like you're at home pleasing and just satisfying to be in um, you don't want to bring a lot. I say the minimum is one, the max is four. The reason why I say that is because you don't, you don't want to overpower your room. You don't want to be feeling like, oh, you're at home, and then when you're actually at home, you're not really doing things but sleeping. You know what I mean? Don't bring too many off-season clothes. Meaning, if you're, when you first go to school, it's like August, September. It's kind of warm. You can bring, like, some hoodies, you know, when the temperature starts to drop. But, don't bring all your puffy jackets, snow boots, you know, Uggs. It's not even Ugg season yet. Why are you bringing Uggs? Don't bring too many winter stuff when it's still semi-summer and vice versa. When it's summertime, you know, you have a break in between before you go to the next semester. So within that break, you can go home, get your winter stuff, bring that back with you. And you know, when you go home, you just keep swapping clothes. That's the easiest way to stay space. It's the easiest way to not bring too many clothes. This way to stay space is the easiest way to not bring too many clothes. Girls, I know it's gonna be kinda hard for y'all, but trust me, you're gonna live. I promise. Next thing I think you guys should not bring is a TV. The reason why I say don't bring a TV is only because you I'm not gonna be watching it as often. I know I brought my TV, I probably lit I probably turned it on like ten times, that was it. I brought it because I thought I was going to be watching TV, but I realized I really wasn't. I was mostly at my friend's house, they had TV, watch it there. Or the clubhouse, we had a big screen TV, probably go there, watch television, shows and stuff on the internet, my laptop. Um, I don't think you guys should really bring a TV. I think it's just too much space and you're overthinking it. If your school has a printer at the library, try to make it possible for you to use that printer because it's no need for you to bring a printer to dorm, I mean, unless you really have you feel like you don't want to get up and walk the heck hey go ahead and bring it but for me I didn't bring a printer because the, the library lets you print out unlimited stuff for free without having to pay for ink cartridge and paper and stuff like that so use your resources resources that you use the more successful your school year will go reusable dishes my ladies it's okay to have a, like a little set of Tupperware no more than like 10 little Tupperware from small to large but there's absolutely no need for you guys to be bringing your whole kitchen, your mama's kitchen, your grandma's kitchen, your aunt's kitchen. No need for you to be doing that, you know. For me, I really think I just bought like one plate, or one cup that I actually use for myself. If my roommates wanted to bring something, they brought whatever they wanted to bring. I know we had a whole kitchen in our, kitchen in our apartment. So we had pots and pans and stuff like that. And by the time the year, the year ended, you should see how many stuff people were actually throwing out. Like, you can donate that to somebody else. Donate to Salvation Army, Goodwill, um, thrift stores. They will take those. I mean, you don't have to just, I mean, if it's really, really bad and rusted, yeah, throw it out. But other than that, reuse them. I mean, stuff that you're bringing to college, you should be able to, you know, when you're not using them anymore, just give them away for free or sell them. I'm gonna float your boat. Thing on my list with not to bring to college: board games, books. Hence, don't forget Uno. Uno is the game. If you want to play some games, play some Uno, Dominoes. Those are the only two games that I would have personally. Um, reason why I say don't bring them is because you're not gonna have time for them. I mean, you gonna have midterms, papers, and so much reading from the textbook that you're not gonna be able to have time to read other things and you know play all these other board games and whatnot your roommates get along you guys can have some board games and you guys can play them but not to my ten, one or the other is gonna have to do a lot of work and first season is not gonna have time at all this one i really think you shouldn't bring it to college a brita the reason why i say a brita is because I mean, just buy water buy a case of water bottles i mean you're i'm pretty sure if you have mini fridge your brita won't be able to fit in there because of the height and the length of it and the width of it. If an apartment like I did, okay, we you can bring a Brita, you can put it in the fridge, the big fridge, but if you have one in your room and you're like, you know, some college dorms, they only have one room, two twin beds. Luckily, I didn't have that. It was one apartment, four individual bedrooms. I didn't really, I didn't even bring a Brita. I had it on my list, but I didn't bring it. There's no need for it. It's absolutely unnecessary. 
just buy some water bottles, buy a jug of water, keep a cup nearby, lots of cups, reusable cups, and you drink water that way. Next thing you guys should not bring to college is an Xbox or a PS, which goes along with the board games and the games and books and stuff. That's why I say it because you're not going to have time to be playing Madden while you're doing homework. I mean, a lot of boys at school, they did bring it. Kudos to them. I mean, but that's how people's stuff gets stolen. I cannot even stress how many, I like, not even iPhones or Apple products, but Xboxes and PS4s and game systems, game consoles, they got stolen at school because people were an idiot. They wanted to keep playing and playing and playing. And when you have so many people at your house, that's what happens. Your own friends will probably steal it from you. Your own roommates might steal it from you. I've known this, um, candles. Y'all, I love me some candles. I love candles so much. But I got, so here's a situation. Basically, we had it as first, our first inspection in college last school. And I literally brought my candle and I used to burn it in my room because I like the smell of it. You know, it's like a nice aroma. My fine is this. I got fined $25 for having a candle. That wasn't even lit. It was hidden underneath the hat. And they moved my hat to see what was under it. I spent $5 for that candle. And they charged me $25. Work. Anyways, but <laughs> guys, just don't bring unnecessary stuff. It's not worth it. Don't bring candles. Comment down below what you guys think you shouldn't bring to college. And I really hope this video and this last video that I just did really, really help somebody to what, to know what to bring to college and to know what not to bring to college. Because college can be so fun, so sweet, if you just know what you should do, how you should do it, when you should do it, what to bring, what not to bring, what to do, what not to do. I mean, guys, don't overthink it. Just handle yourself accordingly. Do what you gotta do to make it and be successful but other than that i'm signing out in this video thanks for watching this is trs 2k16 don't forget to subscribe like comment and share this video let's try to get this video to 10k not even 50k but 10k